Uh, good morning, guys. There she is, a real beauty. A tribute back to the 1920 Scout. Looking very good here, although I think I like the green or the red uh, paint scheme if I were to get one of these bad boys. But uh, thank you, Bear Laga, for letting me take this out today. They uh, have Moto Guzzi, MV Augusta, and their uh, Indian. Uh, the Piaggio group, um, Aprilia, and Harley, and so on. And this is all their uh, used bikes. But let's get on and take this little Scout. This is the normal Scout. It's not the Bobber. It's not the Scout 60 or Scout 60 Bobber. It is just the normal Scout. Oh, listen to that sound. <laughs> Let's take it out for a little spin, shall we? Alright, oh, very, very nice. Hi guys, nothing to prove here. Today's a beautiful day, cause any day one can be out on. Two wheels is a beautiful day, and yeah, you guessed it, yeah, it's Indian Scout time. I finally take out the standard Indian Scout. This is my fourth Indian that I've ever ridden. Uh, I like it, I think this is my favorite Indian bike here. Uh, in fact, I'm going to make a bold statement here. If I were to ever convert to cruiserdom, this would be at the top of the list. If I had a list. <laughs> uh, that's a funny thing. Uh, let me get to the point, guys. I am not a cruiser guy. So if you want to watch a video from the perspective of a non-cruiser guy, then stick around. But if you're a cruiser guy and you only want to see other cruiser guys doing reviews of cruisers, then stop watching, save you, save you some time right now, because I'm going to make mistakes. I'm just being honest with you guys, so you go ahead and go watch another different video. Okay, now with that said, now all of you guys that are still here, <laughs> let's take a look at this Scout. This 2020, what's really different is, is they put on a floating brake disc on the front and Really, that's it. Oh, and the sports seat is, is new here. Uh, as you can see, this here, this gorgeous piece, now it's no longer an option, it comes standard. I, let's just jump into all the numbers, shall we guys? Let's go ahead and get into them. Let me come around here, and now look at this beautiful bike. The black, I do like the classic look of this black, but I think I would take the green or the red over this. The blue and the white, mm, nah. Uh, I, I like, I think I would take the green, eh, maybe the red, I don't know. I'd have to win the lottery and then just buy both of them and then whichever mood strikes me. <laughs> Let's talk about the most important thing on the list here, the motor. 95 horse, but that's not the important number. Yeah, the torque, guys. 97 newton meters of torque and almost six grand. That's good. You can say, wait a minute, that's kind of high for a, a V-twin. Yeah, but this is liquid cooled, so they can rev it up a little bit more. And it's only 1200 cc's. <laughs> Let's see what I'm saying to you guys, it's only 1200 cc's. Yeah, to your cruiser guys, you're laughing. No, that's nothing. <laughs> 18 is where it's at. But uh, 1200, mm, yeah. But mated to this transmission, you know when you shift this bike. How does this feel on the street? Let's take a look. All right, so how is this powertrain as we're going around this switchback here? And hopefully I'm trying not to scrape. I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> it's, uh, I, it's very controllable. Uh, it's very easy. Easy on the throttle, the on-off throttle. 
and everything is just very very easy I'm really really surprised and, and like this low speed maneuvering there it's also very very easy so we made it to this transmission you just saw me go up there like in the fourth gear with, without any problems now I'm in fifth so you don't even realize that I'm shifty so when you do shift yes you feel it yes it's a clunk but you see right there you don't need a clutch um, <laughs> and so with this smooth v-twin I think it's 1134 cc or 1133 cc it used to be 1131 now it's 1133 or 34 I forget uh, it's a lot of it's really smooth uh, see here I'm, I'm trundling along here in fifth gear at what 70 and it's loving this this motor is just loving this no problems yeah, so it's for this reason this power train gets two thumbs way way up okay guys now let's go into the chassis these are cartridge forks notice they're not upside down it's the classic look of course uh, but what do you notice that is missing on this side yeah it's missing a disc yeah I did notice that when braking hard you really have to grab a handful of brake it's a 298 millimeter disc and only a two piston fixed on here um, I would have preferred two discs and four pistons with each caliber on there Indian I, I know you do it on your bigger bikes because uh, Indians say well this is only 260 kilos so you only need one <laughs> that's probably the attitude of Indian uh, the rear suspension look at that classic look yeah dual you can adjust these for spring preload the same 298 mil disc so they put one on the rear one on the front <laughs> it's all you need right <laughs> single piston <laughs> to stop you back here yeah how, how is, are these brakes you hear me laughing and joking about it but in all seriousness stopping is probably one of the most important things you can do with a motorcycle how is this on the street this chassis now how is this chassis on this rougher road surface as you guys can see or you can hear it in my voice uh, I deliberately go down these kinds of roads to test especially cruisers or roadsters or any type of bike like that that has a shortened suspension and this rear suspension is pretty short uh, but overall I don't think I would adjust the suspension on this particular bike it's doing pretty pretty well actually in my humble opinion now with that said how is the rear brake well let's try it shall we <laughs> that's pretty good <laughs> now let's try the front shall we oh, okay yeah it requires a good amount of pressure to do that to stop this bike I, it's still I was still only using two fingers though so hmm. yeah I would like dual calipers and dual discs on the front though Indian just for the sake of stopping that's all yeah but I, I would give it one thumb for the chassis because of the brakes uh, and uh, okay I'll go one and a half you guys see me I'm like mm. I, I got to remember it's a cruiser uh, so a cruiser for a cruiser and my limited here we go this is the case in point my limited experience on a cruiser I, I would go one thumb maybe one and a half max now if I started riding Harleys that may go up to two thumb on this <laughs> oh god forbid I start riding Harleys <laughs> alright guys now let's take a look at this classic look look at this front tire yeah and as I pan back here with the classic chrome accents Oh yeah, look at these touches. Beautiful, beautiful chromed out bike. 
and the rear 16 inch tires yeah loving this 1920 look here with this and look at look at this as you come around to this look oh look at that classic oh loving that i'm in love as you guys can tell coming around here yeah belt drive of course belt drive is so smooth loving it and of course this 600 just over 640 some millimeter seat height yeah you hear me laughing it's like huh, why am i even saying it it's so low you can see how low this bike is to me 12 and a half liter tank full over 260 kilos yeah so this is like i said before a uh, gs adventure bike weight class but how does all this weight and heft feel in a street in town manners in town here just putting along avoiding these uh manhole covers is is pretty fun uh, i'm enjoying it it's it's not as difficult as i thought it would be with this you know the standard 264 kilos <clears throat> It's because the weight is down low on this, uh, and braking is, oh yeah, a lot easier at that, at this speed. <laughs> but uh, here I'm, I'm sitting in third gear, right at 50. Here, let's bring her into fourth. But, 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 ah, let's drop her down to 30 and check the fuel in, shall we? Let's bring her all the way down to two. There, let's try it. Okay, a little bit of jerkiness there on the on-off. A little bit of driveline lash actually there. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> but uh, nothing to complain about. Oh, there they are. Yeah, not going to complain. So overall for a cruiser, that weighs 264 kilos. Uh, you're getting two thumbs up from me, Indian. Boom, boom, for the in-town manners here. This is this is fun. I'm enjoying this ride. All right, guys, coming up here to the handlebar. Standard controls there. Standard controls there. Let me turn the ignition on down here. And there, look at this. That's beautiful. Enough said. Don't need to say anything else about this gorgeous you even get the time there 1148 in the morning here <laughs> 6,000 kilometers on this bike but this is all you need for a cruiser you got your standard idiot lights there but other than that that's all you need beautiful beautiful bike i seriously guys this this would be number one on my list if i was to convert to a cruiser bike <laughs> except green or red here we go now we're back to the green or red <laughs> green red green red I don't know um, if you guys haven't ever taken a scout or an Indian out for a ride I strongly suggest you guys do it uh, they're they're lovely bikes they're they're holding back to the tradition especially when Polaris bought them back uh, bought them in 2011 and then the first scouts they came out in in 2015 and gorgeous bike um, to the point here in Germany here uh, over 60% of the Indian sales are scouts yeah then then another 20% or almost 20% would be the 1200 FTR and then the remaining 20% are your bigger Indians in that group so there is a reason why they sell this is because it's it's not this this huge 400 kilo monster um it's 250 kilos plus uh and that's why they sell here in germany all right guys i hope you've enjoyed this review as always guys ride safe that's number one on the list and most important guys and number two, ride like there's nothing to prove, guys. Take care. Cheers. Oh, yeah, this is a nice bike. Loving this Scout. 
this. Oh. Nothing but two thumbs away the up Indian. Thank you. Boom, boom. A fun cruiser, that is. Loads of fun to ride. <laughs> 